Hello everyone, Ominous Haunter here and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be doing a review on the Morris Costumes 2020 Underworld Clown. This review will be based off of five factors and those five factors are the appearance of the prop, the durability of the prop, the movement, the overall scare rating and of course the price. So let's get straight on with the appearance of the Underworld Clown. In my opinion, the appearance of the Underworld Clown is what makes him so awesome. He has this appearance of a clown coming out of the Underworld, where his bottom half is submerged still, and he is like trying to get himself out. And I think that's what it look, makes him look so cool and unique. And then, of course, his colours, they've got a mix of the black and white with the green, looks really cool. And of course, you've got the features of the red clown nose and all the face paint and makeup, makes him look so cool and awesomely unique. And of course, he's got all these awesome details, like with the rib cage. he's got some paint over here, and like it makes it look really nice, and it does make it look like bone. And of course, his head is where the most detail is, it's got some like spores on his head where damage has occurred and stuff. And then of course, his teeth look really awesome and creepy, they've got the yellow, uh, dirty yellow teeth, and there are his gums, his lips, I think they look pretty cool. And of course, his hands also have some really cool skeletal details, you can see here all of the... Uh, bones and like all the, the cracks and things. So I think it's really really cool and I really like that So overall the appearance of the underworld clown is a 5 out of 5. The next factor is the durability of the prop And I think that the durability of the underworld clown is really really good because the parts where like the arms for example uh, Connect to the each other they have this pin which secures it and makes sure it doesn't fall out And that I really like because it makes sure that it's not gonna uh, blow away or I mean, like, if there were high winds, it wouldn't fall apart or anything. And then, of course, in here, in where the arms connect to the uh, rib, the actual mechanism, there's a screw where they screw on, so you're not going to, um, like, because it's, it's tightened onto a screw, it's not going to fall off, which I think is really nice. So the durability is really good on his arms, and they and they actually are um, have foam tubes inside of them. Uh, you can see that in my unboxing video. And so, they, yeah, they're pretty good and they're not going to fall apart. And I think that's really, really good. And then the head, the upper portion of the head is a much more harder plastic compared to the lower part, which the jaw is a much uh, lower quality, cheaper plastic. But that's so the mouth can move freely because if it were a heavier plastic, I think it would break. Like the prototype of the Expo, I believe, was a harder plastic and it ended up breaking. So that's really unfortunate. So that's what they changed for the release model. And then, of course, the rib cage is also made out of plastic, which is pretty nice. You can see some of the screws there and the wire, and so it's really good quality. The base is also metal, and you can see the uh, metal support poles here. There's the pole, and that connects to the mechanism. So it's all really good, great quality, and I don't think you can have any problems with it breaking. So overall, it's going to be a five out of five for the durability. The next factor is the movement factor. The Underworld Clown has a really nice range of movement. The mechanism causes both arms to sway side to side, and of course this creepy cloth sways with it. The uh, mouth moves and the eyes light up, all because of the wires. So overall, the Underworld Clown's movement is incredible, and it does also get a 5 out of 5. The next factor for this guy is the overall scare rating of this prop, and I think that this guy is actually really creepy and scary. The, what I think is the most scary about him is his twisted design and how unnatural he looks, and of course when his volume is on max volume, he's got this really creepy booming voice that kind of uh, startles you if you don't really expect it. Because unlike with props like Heiji the Clown, I think it's more of a, just like a scenery prop to set some atmosphere with the kind of like the clowns and stuff but this one is definitely a centerpiece of any haunt and I just really like him for that and he is definitely scary so I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5 for the scare rating as well and then lastly the last factor is of course the price I paid uh 320 pounds for this guy so I think that is the full asking price for him which isn't the worst but if you can find a discount or a coupon code for this guy I definitely would and he is his price is normally around 300 um pounds or dollars anyway so that's pretty much his uh asking price but yeah like I said if you can find a coupon make sure to uh, definitely use that because that is definitely a great deal but overall this guy is awesome and he's definitely worth the money and as for his score, I would give it a 4 out of 5 for the price. Overall, this guy scored a 24 out of 25, which is really, really good. I really like this prop. I think he's awesome. The detail, the design, everything about him is really, really cool. And I can't wait to use him in my haunted house this year. Just before I end the review, I'm going to go show you guys the box for those of you who would like to see it. In the top left corner, we have a picture of the Morris Costumes logo. Then we have the Underworld Clown uh, prop. Here is what he does, his head turns from side to side, eyes light up and mouth moves and motion sensor activated. Here is his height chart, you can see he's around 6 feet high. 
Here is what is included, the adapter, he has a volume control and it includes depth, which is really nice. There's another picture of him. And yeah, there's his light up eyes and move mouth picture of a close up of his face. Now I will show you a demo of the Underworld Clown. The night air is cool up here above the ground, but I prefer the fiery warmth down below. I'll drag your cold soul down with me for a little company and show you the warmth of my fiery pits. <laughs> But apart from that, that is everything I have to say about Underworld Clown. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.